Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we have this satellite right here and we need to put it in this orbit right here. Now we're currently going the correct direction so that's nice. Our inclination is off by three degrees and our apoapsis is way smaller than it needs to be. So we will go ahead and push out our apoapsis right here. We'll adjust our inclination after. Assuming we have to. It can be pretty forgiving with these orbits sometimes. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. For now. Get into position here. Excellent. Warp to next maneuver. Hopefully we don't run out of power. Because I'm now remembering that I intended to uh, slightly put a battery on this thing. And then I didn't. That's okay. We're going to need to burn this at T minus... 37 and a half seconds. Surely we have a minute of battery life left. Boy, I hope we do. <laughs> We're running out of battery life pretty quickly here. I'm going to turn SAS off in hopes of doing that a little bit less uh, quickly. Go into hibernation, actually. T minus 37 seconds. We're going to have to come out of hibernation pretty quickly. And yeah, with the hibernation, we can definitely do this. Okay, come, come out of hibernation. SAS on. And we should be burning. Excellent. And off we go. We have more than enough DV to make this happen. It's just electric charge that I'm worried about. And at this point, I mean, we can always make another pass. It's not a big deal. If only this engine had an alternator on it, or if only I had bothered to put a battery on. Either of those would be good. We're going to have to cut this burn relatively soon, though. Because we're going to run out of electric charge. So we're going to have to do this on a second pass. I'm just watching the electric charge up here. Once we get down to 0 0.05. Okay. SAS disengaged. We are out of power. Oh, we can't even delete the maneuver node. That's okay. We got far enough. So we can't add a maneuver node either. So we will instead simply warp forward until we get ourselves some solar radiation coming in. There we go. Fantastic. So now we've got power again, and we will just go ahead and add a maneuver here. Burn prograde to push our periapsis out, and that will become our apoapsis, of course. Just adjust when we're going to do this burn ever so slightly. Excellent. SAS can go on. We'll get in position for the burn. Like that. And warp to that maneuver. We'll have plenty of power for this one. No worries on that. And that should push us far enough out that the Kerbin's, Kerbin's shadow will be much smaller, which would be great. Okay. Burn time of 51 seconds, so at 25 and one half seconds is when we want to do this burn. So right about now. Excellent. And yeah, I think it is going to make us change our inclination. I hope it is. If if the tolerance is within three degrees, that's kind of insane. Like, we, we'll I'll change the inclination anyway, probably. Of course, the reference will go away. So 
So we'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, that'll do. At the apoapsis up here, we're going to add a maneuver. And we are just going to push out like so. And that will be close enough. For sure. And then we'll just change our inclination after that. Hopefully, it that doesn't count. I'd be really sad if that counted. At any rate, we're going to need to enter hibernation here before we warp. So we'll enter hibernation. Of course, SAS will go off. And we'll warp to that next maneuver. I didn't align, but I didn't align on purpose. Okay, here we are. We're going to come out of hibernation now. SAS on. And we are going to align. I mean, I could have aligned. It It kind of didn't matter, I think. It probably would have been better if I did, realistically. Okay. So this is a 16 second burn. So we're going to need to burn very soon. I'm going to go into hibernation. T minus eight seconds is when we want to burn. I just did that so we burn less electric charge. Okay, a few more seconds, 10 seconds until this burn. So right about now. Wait, we can throttle up while in hibernation? That's news to me, but I'll take it. Overshot a little bit. Is that okay? That's not okay. I'm going to adjust this. Okay, now we can't throttle up. Okay. We're now control locked because we're in hibernation, but that's fine. Surely that's not going to uh, count. And yeah, it would appear that that's not going to count. So we are now going to need to warp forward until we actually have some light coming in. There we go. Perfect. We're now going to come out of hibernation. There we go. And at the descending node here, we are going to go ahead and let's change our inclination a little bit here. We are going to change it to be something along the lines of that. That will do the trick. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and align. We won't have any power issues with this burn, so that is a good thing. Uh, no, please stop going to retrograde. Thank you. Okay. Over we go. This is just a 40 meter per second burn. This thing is so hilariously overbuilt. <laughs> Okay, three second burn, so I will warp forward T minus 1.5 seconds. So in just a few seconds now. Okay, just finishing off this burn a little bit more precisely. There. Contract complete. Fantastic. Okay, so let's hop on back to the space center here. And before I forget again, let's put a battery on that thing. That will help tremendously. Okay. So we're going to be putting a battery on this guy. And I think 
We will place that right on top of the SAS if we've got a radial battery. Yeah, we do. Perfect. So that'll have 200 electric charge. That is 20 times the amount of power that is stored in the Probodobodyne hex. <laughs> that'll do the trick. Okay, there we go. And now, as far as contracts go, we should check to see if there's another decent one. Science data from surface of the moon. We will grab that. Didn't I grab that before? I thought I had. And we were already at five. But apparently not. So this is two to land on the moon and two to land on Minmus. And we're going to go to Minmus first before we do a return trip to the moon. So in some ways, Minmus is easier than the moon. We're going to go ahead and open up the Grasshopper 2X, or not the Grasshopper 2X, the Griffin 2X, this guy right here. And we're going to call this now the Griffin 2L. This is no longer experimental. This is now the standard landing system that we're going to be using. We may change out some of these modules here if we're going to further locations, because we'll need like more Delta V and such. But uh, this will do for now. And let's go ahead and launch this. We are going to go to Minmus, although... I should have checked the staging while we were in there, because I can see right now that our staging is wrong. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it's not a difficult fix. All we got to do is that. And then let's double check this. Yep, that's good. Then the maneuvering stage fires, then the landing stage fires, and the maneuvering stage detaches and the nose cones pop off. Those should probably pop off when the maneuvering stage fires realistically. The maneuvering stage is a swivel. Thrust to weight there is 0.76 though, so that might be okay. It's got an alternator on it as well. I think it's fine. We've got plenty of DV here. So then the landing stage, which we've already tested quite extensively. And then the two drogue chutes and then the three main chutes, as well as the cooling solution for the landing legs. We've got Jebediah, Bill and Bob going here. And those are, I think, the ones we want to bring. So I think we are completely good to go. We should have a significant amount of our issues ironed out at this point. So off we go. That mainsail doing some real work lifting us right now. It's pulling exclusively from the side tanks, and it's going to burn those side tanks out pretty quickly. 85 second burn. Our apoapsis is already 2 kilometers, so we're just going to start a very minor shift over. Of course, we are going to have to do an inclination change. That was a less minor shift than I was looking for. <laughs> We're going to have to do an inclination change no matter what going to Minmus. And we may want to throttle down a little bit here, actually, as we're passing through this thicker part of the atmosphere through max Q. We're still accelerating. And I'm going to throttle back up right now. Excellent. Our apoapsis is currently 35 kilometers, so that'll be fine. Make that 45 kilometers. We are going up fast. 50 kilometers. 55. I'm going to throttle down again. 65 kilometers. At this point, we should be just at the horizon. And that's exactly where we are. 72. I'm going to throttle back up. Just get us a little bit of distance there. That'll help. Okay. 
our apoapsis is at 80 kilometers, so that's actually kind of ideal. We'll just go ahead and create ourselves a fancy little node here. There we go. Now we are kind of tumbling, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm going to fix that with the mainsail. There we go. And we're at this point mostly just coasting to space. And it looks like we're holding attitude now reasonably well, as would be expected at this altitude. Excellent. So we're going to want to burn this at about T minus, what, 13 and a half seconds? Yeah, that's where it would be. So we'll be exiting the atmosphere momentarily. And at that time, we are going to warp forward. There we go. We'll now warp forward a little bit. Okay. Burning at 13 and a half seconds. So right then. I like the new particles for the mainsail. That's pretty neat. Okay, a little bit more DV here. That didn't quite put us into the orbit that I was looking for because of that early burn to uh, correct our to to correct our trajectory or not trajectory but to arrest the tumble. It's fine though. We're going to be adjusting this orbit quite significantly anyway. So we're going to set Minmus as our target, and at the ascending node here, we're going to need to change our inclination 6.3 degrees, not that way, the other way. So right about... Okay, point 0.1 is the closest we can get at this location. We can maybe adjust our position that we do this at ever so slightly. Yeah, that'll do. Right there. Perfect. So this is only a seven second burn. We're doing okay on electric charge. So we will start very slowly rotating our way to the <laughs> to the uh, heading that we need. I'm physics warping the rotation, by the way. Okay, we'll freeze our physics and get a little bit more over here. There we go. And now we will just warp to next maneuver. Fantastic. Uh, no, don't go to prograde. What are you doing? Get back to the point. There you go. Trust me on that one, Jeb. Jeb doesn't trust me. I mean, fair enough. I did kill him. And then he came back as a clone for reasons known only to Jeb. Okay. So, three and a half seconds is when we want to burn this. About now. Let's just see if we can't get a little bit more DV d done here. That's probably good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, we're tumbling right now, and uh, it'll take some time for the SAS to arrest that, but that's okay. So where is Minmus right now? Minmus is here. We're probably going to intercept it somewhere around here. So maybe if we burn at the Apoapsis. That's Moon. Yeah, we're going to need to go a little further than that. Moon is kind of blocking us. Ah, there we go. That's going to be an encounter, it looks like, or very close to one. Yeah, that's an encounter. Is it a decent encounter? 400 kilometers. We can maybe adjust that slightly. Whoa. Not slightly enough. That was not slightly enough. OK, 
Okay. I mean, that's a pretty fast flyby there. But that would do the trick. That should be good enough. We can work with that. So let's just go ahead and maneuver our way over to the maneuver node. Very, very slowly. This is a very heavy fuel tank that we have here. Actually, it's four fuel tanks. That is an, a cost optimization that we can make later on. Okay, we will just go ahead and position ourselves right here. We can actually EVA here. Oh, okay, never mind. EVA is apparently unavailable. Why is EVA unavailable? We didn't cover the hatch. Oh, it's because I'm time warping. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, we missed Badlands again. Maybe it'll come back. There it is. Grab it. Got it. Excellent. We'll store that. Okay. Now we'll warp forward again. We need to go ahead and warp to next maneuver, which is always interesting to do when you're in this sort of a position. But there we go. So this is going to be at 23 seconds, so we're going to need to burn this at, what, 11 and a half. T minus 11 and a half. That'll be fine. Oh, SAS is currently off. I should probably turn that on. Just as soon as we're done with this time warp. Okay, there we go. And we burn. Yeah, I really like these new particle effects on the mainsail. That is really neat. I like the uh, exhaust that they've got there, too. That's great. I believe I overshot. That main sail is pretty powerful. I did indeed. So we're going to head over to retrograde and see if we can uh, compensate for that. We only overshot by like 6 meters per second. We'll burn off this last 3 meters per second at retrograde and see where we're at and get the rest of the way with the maneuvering stage. We'll just need to make a minor correction here. Just about to retrograde. Okay. Yep, there's that three meters per second. Okay, let's see what that did. Um. Nope, we need to burn prograde a little bit more. We have managed to overshoot our overshoot. Well, I'm not throttling up to full, that's for sure. Okay, there's an encounter. And that'll do. Not going to get any closer than that right now. So we'll just go ahead and set up a circularization here. Like so. I overshot it. Like, ooh, that's fast. It switches between apoapsis and periapsis almost instantly right here. <laughs> that's close enough, though. Yeah, that's definitely close enough. So we will align to that burn. We can turn much faster now that we've ditched that uh, central core. That said... Physics is still physics, turns out. There we go. So we will go ahead and warp to here. Goodbye, Kerbin. Goodbye, Moon. I don't know where Minmus is right now. It'll turn up. Should be in the equatorial plane, though. 
or close to it. And this is so tiny. Should be like right on top of him. Oh, there it is. Hi, Minmus. Yeah, uh, we've got some things that we need to do here. We're going to align retrograde. Crew report. We're in space high right now, so we can grab a temperature scan, atmospheric pressure scan, mystery goo observation, materials study. Fantastic. We'll collect all of those. We're also going to EVA real fast here. See us back on. Collect all. And then we want to burn this at T minus seven and a half seconds. Okay. So we'll warp forward a little bit. And we'll burn off 174 meters per second. And then we'll have a bit of an EVA probably. That said, I should be burning right now. I got distracted again. <laughs> It's fine. That said, it does bear noting that uh, it's pretty late in the episode. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in here. We'll reset all of these, grab our orbital science, and land in the next episode. And then the one after that is probably going to be bringing these guys home. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.